new to my channel please um, hit that like and subscribe button we appreciate it it does go a long way um, yeah so today we're going to be speaking about basically just some I'm giving you guys just some insights on uh, on what you should do like if you're gonna if you're gonna lower your car what steps you should take or which steps you should take um, depending on what type of person you are basically um, and depending on what you want the car for so the three topics that we're gonna be speaking about is um, your springs coilovers or airlift so if you don't know what airlift is it's a uh, like truck, sus truck suspension that goes up and down with the uh, airbags which is usually used on your high-end cars as well like your Land Rovers like I said and your Audi Q7s if I'm correct um, so we're gonna start off with springs um, the pros how can I say the pros and cons for springs right so springs are cheap that's the pros um, they're easy accessible so there's a lot a lot of aftermarket uh, brands of springs so it depends on your car basically but there's a lot of aftermarket brands for springs um, what else the cons is springs is just a fix, one one fixed height so and on that same fixed height that shock and spring are not made for each other because it's an off-the-market spring so it can affect your shocks it can affect your cvs it can affect your ball joints your bushes all of that so that's the cons for springs but if you're just looking to spend a little bit of cash just to get a, get an extra bit of low uh, dip i would say do it if you're not into all that stance life, you just want the car to be, be lower, do it. Um, fuck, the spare shop's closed. Um, yeah, so I'd say number two on the coilovers. Coilovers are pretty, how can I say this? They get a lot of hate, but fuck, they, they're worth it for the buck. Uh, the pros for your coilovers is adjustable height so whether you want to be driving around low or whether you want to be driving around high and still having a firm firm ride in a car cars more solid I would say get yourself some coilovers your the price varies from about four and a half thousand four and a half thousand to about say fifteen thousand for very expensive coilover um, the cons for coilovers if you don't clean the coilover it's gonna it's gonna how can I say this the trailer is gonna get, get fucked and uh, if you're taking out bump stops and if you're taking out all helpers springs you run the risk of uh, breaking that shock basically you know all that load is coming on that shock in that spring so you, you run that risk as well At a high speed, coilovers is, is lovely. I, I trust coilovers at a high speed. I trust coilovers with my life at a high speed. <laughs> Just depending on, on, on what coilover it is. Um, and again, the cons. Okay, there's, there's not much cons on a coilover, I, I can say. It's just that you'll be have, having to manually adjust it. It's not automatically adjustable like uh, like air suspension. That gives you more ease of using a remote. But I'm fine with it. If you're gonna go to take your car to the track and beat it up, it's gonna handle it. If you drive it on a normal day, it's gonna handle it. So. Yeah, I'm fine with coilovers. The third option uh, is air suspension. So, 
airlift is amazing. Oh, like everyone wants wants airlift. Everyone wants airlift. It gives it transforms your car basically. It, it just transforms the look of the car by making it lower, and it's it looks amazing, 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 amazing. But it comes at a cost as well. So the price. Let's start with that. The price for like your entry level airlift suspension in South Africa is like 17 to 20,000 rand and now you must still pay for, it, for someone for labor to fit it and you're going to be fitting it with cheap fittings and you're going to get air leaks your, comp your compressor is going to be noisy so if you really want something for your buck you would go with you would go with very expensive one basically which is about 40 grand so don't get me wrong on it on air air is amazing it's flipping amazing i would want air in the polo if i could put it but the polo is my daily car i'm not gonna go put air in my daily car um yeah guys like i said so you you got the choice so if you not into the stance looks and whatnot you just want your car to have a better overall performance wise uh, stability wise lower your car put springs in drive it around but trust me once that bug hits you and you see your car low you're gonna want to slam your car you're gonna want to slam that car properly so you'll probably make the change to coilovers and then once you put coilovers in, you're gonna see, okay, the car is low, the back's low, the front's low, but you want it lower. So if you don't got that option of putting air in, you're gonna have to notch your chassis, which is, hey, I haven't done it. I know it drops the car lower, but in all fairness, I'm not about to risk my, my car's, how can I say, the structure, my car structure just to go a little bit low in the front so once again it's up to you guys and if you guys are only joining in now and you'll skip forward the video just to look through um, guys please hit that like please hit that subscribe button comment on everything we should do we can't make so much comment uh, content because we're on lockdown and I'm taking a chance by driving like this. 